Hi, my name is Hannah Biggs and I'm an International Grand Prix dressage rider. Welcome to my home. I'm going to show you how I train and work with my horses to prepare for competition at all levels. Now I'm going to show you how I start the flying changes. Everyone loves to ride the flying changes, everyone loves to watch the flying changes, but they're the one thing that you really need experience with when you're teaching them, either having ridden them yourself or get help teaching them. Don't ever tell your horse off if he gets it wrong, because then he can panic and then have a stress about it. Some horses take two weeks, some can take two years, but you're not going to know that until you start, so make sure you've got some help ready. You need to make sure you have a basic quality of canter before you even attempt the flying changes. So I'm going to now show you how I started with Archie. In preparation for the flying changes, I want to make sure I have a good basic quality of the canter. So I make sure that he's forwards on his own, nice and soft to both sides, straight and even in the contact, straight and even in the shoulders. Oh boy. I also like to be able to have a little bit of speed control so I can bring the horse back on his hind legs, riding a little bit shorter and quicker in the canter, and that I can let him go forwards. Go forward. And I have complete control and adjustability of this canter. There are a couple of exercises that I do to teach the flying changes, but my favourite is when we come down the centre line, ride a shoulder end to the opposite way and then ask at the end of the shoulder end. So I'm going to come straight down the centre line and then ride the shoulder end to the left. And then once I feel he's in my outside rein, then I ask with the outside leg. Good boy. And do the same to the other way. So I make sure he's straight and even in both frames, sitting back on his hind legs, straight and even down the centre line, so shoulder into the right, there is in my left brain, and then ask with the outside leg. Good boy. Now I'm going to ride straight on the diagonal line. Good boy. Okay, so make sure he's soft to the left before I ask for the blind changes in my outside rein. Good, well done. Make sure I've got a little bit of adjustability in the canter before I try it across the next diagonal, so a little bit shorter and quicker. Make sure he's listening to me completely on my aids and a little bit forwards for a few strides and then back again. I stay soft and relaxed in the jaw. Some horses can get quite excited about flying changes, so you have to keep relaxing them. Okay, ready? Good boy. Okay, so there he felt actually that he was coming backwards behind me a little bit, so now I'm going to use that adjustability in the canter to improve the flying changes even more. So forwards a bit down the long side. Good boy. And collect back. So now I'm going to ride a little bit collected on the diagonal towards the flying change and then ride forwards for a couple of strides before the change itself. So I'm bringing him back on his hind legs, make sure he's flexed to the left and then allow him forwards and change. Good boy. There he felt a bit more forwards in the change itself. Good. I do exactly the same this way. Make sure I can bring him back on his hind legs a little bit. He's soft in the jaw. So I collect him back a little bit and then ride forwards. And ask for the change. Good boy. Now I'm going to add one more element to that exercise and that's collecting him straight after the flying change itself. So he learns to change and sit back on his hind legs again. This is why you need that fully adjustable canter before you ask for the flying changes. Okay, 
So, a little bit collected first, make sure it's soft to the left, and forwards, and change, and immediately collect back. Oh, right, well done. And the same on this rein. Forward first. Right. So on the diagonal, think a little bit collected. Make sure it's soft to the right. So back, forwards. Change and collect immediately. Good boy. Well done. So as I progress on in the training, and I'll show you later in the next video on my Grand Prix horse, how that exercise could really improve the expression in the flying changes. So to sum up, Archie is already established in his flying changes. I just showed you briefly how I taught him the changes. And this was just an exercise to help improve the expression in the changes. Anything that usually goes wrong is rider error. So if you have any problems, do please seek help. <laughs> so the main focus is on the quality of the canter and the adjustability. And then this exercise I'll show you can progress on to the tempi changes and getting the expression in those, which I'll show you on welts in my Grand Prix horse later. I hope you've enjoyed this video. They've been brought to you by Jackson's Equestrian. I use and endorse Jackson products because quite simply, they are the best and offer quality that lasts.